Hello. Today in Screencast 2A Percentages, we are going to work a problem that has to do with percentage of change. This problem is number 65 from page 151. It reads, the number of daily newspapers in the United States was 2,226 in 1990 and 1,450 in 2005 find the absolute and relative change, and they would like the relative change as a percentage. We're going to deal first with the absolute change in this particular problem. Absolute change is the newer value minus the reference value. In our particular problem, the newer value is 1,450 and the reference value is 2,226. Now the way we set this particular problem up is extremely important. In subtraction, order matters. So to find the absolute change in this particular problem, we are going to take our new value, or our later value in this particular case, which was 1,450, and we are going to subtract from it our reference value, or our older value, which was 2,226. Now when this subtraction is done, note that it will give us a negative answer. That's because circulation has actually dropped in this particular case, to, and that difference, that drop, is 776 newspapers. So that in this particular case is the absolute change. We're going to be using the absolute change in the next segment of the problem. Part 2 of the problem asks us to find the relative change. The formula to find relative change is the absolute change divided by the reference value. In our particular problem, the absolute change, which we found, remember, from the previous part, was negative 776. That's going to go into the numerator of our fraction. Now this next section is very important. Into the denominator of our fraction must go the reference value. And remember, our reference value was the initial value, which was 2,226. We've been asked to express this answer as a percent of change. However, in order to get the percentage of change, we first have to find its decimal equivalent. If we take negative 776 and divide it by 2,226, we will get 349 thousandths. It's always a good idea, because we're going to be turning this to a percentage, to round to the nearest thousandth. So that's what we're going to do here. Now to convert this to a percentage, which is what the problem is asking for, we need to multiply by 100. Now we can shortcut that a bit by multiplying it by 100 by moving the decimal point over two places. And that gives us a final answer in this particular case, now remember, when we divided a negative by a positive, our decimal is a negative answer. So when we get our percentage, that is also going to be negative, and it's going to be a negative 34.9%. Now what does that mean in terms of our problem? It means that newspaper sales have dropped 34 point nine percent from 1990 to 2005. So to recap, first we were asked to find absolute change. We did that by taking the new value minus the older value to get our difference, being um, very careful to keep track of whether that was a rise or a fall, positive or negative. Then we took that absolute change 
divided it by the reference value to get a decimal. In this case, that decimal was negative. Then we changed the decimal to a percent by multiplying by 100 and got 34.9%. Thank you for viewing this screencast.